الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers uh, and sisters, today's topic is uh, helping others. There is a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Man nafasa an akhihi qurbatan min qurabi dunya, nafasahu allahu anhu qurbatan min qurabi al-akhira, or min qurabi yawm al-qiyamah. Wa man satara musliman, satarahu allahu fi dunya wal-akhira. ومن يسر على موسير يسره الله عليه في الدنيا والآخرة والله في عون العبد ما كان العبد في عون أخيه ومن now this this hadith mentions that Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said if somebody makes takes away one harmful thing from one person his brother or anyone that he knows of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take one harmful thing away from him from the harmful things of Qiyamah on the day of judgment. If someone covers one person's mistakes, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cover his mistakes on the day of judgment. Um, if anyone makes one thing easy for a person, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make things easy for that person in this dunya and in Akhirah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the help of a person as long as he is in the help of his brothers. Now, many times I hear from brothers, a lot of young brothers think these days that, uh, um, I mean, most of the time they send zakat and other sadaqat and all of that to Pakistan and other countries because obviously there are a lot more poor people there. But many people actually forget that sometimes we need to look closer to home. There are many people here uh, in UK Muslims now that are actually in need and they are um, they are struggling um, also there are many who are homeless as well and, and they, they are in homeless shelters and other places and all of that now I can understand and everybody should know this that zakah is only you cannot give it to any other purpose but for eight types of uh, things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Quran so you cannot uh, give your zakah generally to non-Muslims. The purpose for that is that it is a ritual worship and it's only given to certain types of people. Many Muslims don't even receive zakat anyway. Yes, so you don't give it to even old Muslims. There are only certain types of people that you give it to. So there is no discrimination in that sense. But Prophet ﷺ and Allah SWT encourage people to help people. Prophet ﷺ said, uh, there is a hadith of Rasulullah ﷺ that came in Bahki and many other, uh, 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 many other books that um, Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Nasu wa Al-Khalqu Ayalullah. The hadith I have in here is Al-Nasu um, Al-Khalqu Kulluhum Ayalullah. Fa ahabbu al-Khalqi ilallahi man ahsana ila ayalihi. That people are all servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best and the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is He who is most beneficial and most beneficial to His people. Yes. The best amongst uh, people is He who is more beneficial to His people. Now, uh, this video should encourage you, brothers. I mean, it's not only, it's for your own personal development as well. Now, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all his life, he didn't look at anybody what religion he was from, what race he was from, what color he was from. All differences Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam eliminated. People are all servants of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Now in terms of health, yes, Islam is not a stingy religion. When it comes to us, we take charities from everybody else. When it, there is a flood in Pakistan, we, we collect charities from everywhere, everywhere in the world and we send it to Pakistan. But when there is a flood in the UK, nobody cares to give because, oh, why? Why? Because they are not Muslims. Prophet ﷺ and Allah SWT encourage Muslims to give their charities even. Zakah is a different matter. Other charities, there is no limit how much charity to you give. And there is no conditions who you give it to. You spend it on people, general, anybody who is in need, you help out. I would encourage Muslims, young Muslims especially, to go out and, and help out. Look, you can volunteer for mosque. 
Yes, there are many places that you can volunteer for. Education system, you can volunteer for many other organizations that are out there. You can volunteer for NHS. Just try to do that for your personal development. I will encourage you to do that for a few days. Just only do that to encourage, just to see what kind of problem people are going through. Then you will see that how grateful you should be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has given you everything that you need. Yes. And it's your duty and your responsibility to help out and, and, and try to help people. Yes. And Prophet Sallallahu said, yes, the best amongst you is he who is best for people, who is most helpful to people. Remember that. Yes. So try to help in this month of Ramadan. Use this. Use this to send this message that Muslims, they don't only stand there and collect charities. When, he, when, when, they are, when people are in need, Muslims, they help out. They try because it is a sacred thing to do, because it's ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet because these are the teachings of Islam, that you help others, you help people. Prophet for 40 years, before he could ever call people to say, pray or call and believe in Allah, he showed people how to be a best human being. He showed people, people used to call him as sadiq and al -Amin. Yes, you need to be as sadiq and al -Amin. And what is as sadiq and al -Amana? You be truthful to people, you don't cheat others, you try to help wherever you can. So Rasulullah set a beautiful example. Read the seerah of Prophet and help out.